This is a really compact hotel room. But everything seems to be pretty clean. Let's check out the bathroom. This is a really majestic artwork for a toilet. Nice, nice. Everything is clean. It's simple. Ah, nice robe. Whoa. This is a first. You know, I stay at hotels a lot, and this is the first time I've ever seen slippers in a hotel room. All right, let me explain why I'm here. For those of you who don't know, I have a channel called Beyond Science where I talk a lot about all sorts of stuff. And a few weeks ago, I got in contact with a company called Lockheed Martin. And if you guys don't know what this company does, it's a massive company that does a lot of super interesting things. For example, they built the Orion spacecraft. They're trying to come up with exoskeletons for our soldiers that basically turns them into Iron Man. And Denver, Colorado is where their space systems is located. So this is where they do all of their space stuff. Their goal was to send people to Mars by the year 2028. They took their first step by creating this, this prototype of a deep space gateway for NASA, a habitat that's kind of floating between Earth and the moon. So anyway, we were talking and they asked if I wanted to come down and, and see it. My answer was absolutely, yeah, I want to see that. It's going to be really interesting. So I'm doing an episode for uh, Beyond Science about this whole thing. And that is why I am here in Denver. So it's... Uh, 12.30 p.m. I, I got up today at like 4.30 a.m. to catch my flight. I am starving. I haven't had anything to eat except for a bag of Cheez-Its. So I am in a new city. Let's go find something to eat. I want to go to find a restaurant, but I need something right now. I'm craving a burger. So I came to Crave Real Burger. I agree with that. I heard this place is awesome. I love stinks. Yeah, it does. I think I'm gonna go for this prime time. Everything here looks good. And six ounces sounds kind of small, so let's just go ahead and add an extra beef patty there for good measure. And we'll add some garlic parmesan fries. Well, here it is. Parmesan cheese fries. And look at this thing. It's two six ounce patties, so that's 12 ounces. That's almost a pound of beef patties. Then we got slices of prime rib on top. And what we got here? This is tempura fried mushrooms. It's so big, the fork and knife they put it underneath to kind of act like a little forklift. Otherwise, I don't even know how to pick this up. Look at that. <laughs> I love it when my burgers are classified as monstrosities, and this definitely does. All right, there really is no good way of doing this, so let's just. Let's just do it. Mm. My first impression of a city typically has to do with what kind of food I got. And right now, all I can say is, I love Denver. How do you not love that? If you're looking at this and you're not loving it, mm, I feel like there's just no hope in the world. I'll go as far as to say, and I've tried in and out I've tried the Shake Shacks, I've tried a lot of burgers. This is one of the best burgers I've ever had. I, I kid you not, completely serious, one of the best burgers I've ever had. Like, I'm in love with this thing right now. If I could put a ring on it, I would. Try some of this Parmesan cheese fries. What you're hearing right now, that's not elevator music. That's the sound of love. So good. That is so good. Ice cream is obligatory after a good, fatty, greasy burger. Rocky Road, very fitting of Colorado, I think. So after a burger and ice cream, and then, and then I saw a movie, uh, now I'm gonna eat here. This new Saigon. I know this might seem a little excessive, like, yeah, I just got to Denver, all I did was eat. That's how I have fun. That That's a vacation for me, so uh, let's go get some more food. <laughs> This place is hopping right now. Um, I'm gonna get two dishes. It's gonna be over water, but better over than under. Oh, check it out, hot oil. Something you don't see a lot in Via places. So I got a little bowl of pho here. I, I needed some pho. Sriracha has to go on. Some hot oil. Yeah. I love the changing of the colors. It's like watching the leaves change in the fall. It's that beautiful. I, I just got my second dish and it didn't look that big on the menu. From the descriptions, I, I did not think it was that big. I might have been mistaken. Take a look. There's four items here that I'm supposed to wrap this in rice wrap, I believe. I don't have any rice wrap right now. It has egg rolls, 
grilled chicken, grilled pork, grilled beef, and a bunch of veggies. That might not seem that big because you really couldn't see it. What have I got myself into? My wraps have arrived. Okay, the, the sun is kind of shining on there, like 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 it is, it's, it's like a holy food item. Um, but it's warm water, and they give you these these um, rice wraps. And this is the fish sauce here. This is the first time I'm eating this, and I am actually super excited about it. Be bib up here. Ain't no shame in looking silly. You take one of these rice wraps and you just whoa. Okay, so they're turning soft right away. I don't know how long I'm supposed to be dipping this in this hot water. Maybe it's instantaneous. I'm not really sure. Let me ask someone. So she's doing it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, very quick. Thank you. So literally, she just ran it in water for like two seconds. <laughs> She told me I ruined that. Okay, so this is this is gone. This is, I'm sorry. And then you just put things in here. Put a piece of shrimp, put a piece of grilled chicken, some veggies, noodles. Put all the meat in here. Some pieces of mint and a piece of lettuce. For sauce, I think I failed because I don't think I was supposed to put this much stuff in here. And this just became like a monster roll. This is more like a rice wrap burrito than, than just like a rice wrap roll. Those of you who are Vietnamese and you're looking at this and you're cringing, I'm sorry. I've never done this before. So, here, here's the burrito. No, I mean, not look pretty. I think we can all agree on that. But this is delicious. Let me see if I can get this right. First of all, rice wrapper. Just quickly do a 360. And that's it. This time I'm not gonna overstuff it. Maybe one piece of beef, some noodles, fish sauce, and some hot oil this time. Look, for some reason I'm failing so hard at this. Mm. This is so delicious though. This is like edible origami. Mm. Even better because of the hot oil. This is one of the first times I'm having this, but I feel like already I can't do it without this. This is this is ridiculously good. What I've been doing wrong was I've been putting food in the middle. I'm gonna start putting food on the edges and just do it that way. And I'm just gonna put a little less than what I did before. And then just carefully roll it like this. I am filming this, so I only have one hand that's free. Okay, wow. All right, you know what? This looks so much better. This actually looks like a real screen roll. There we go. That's not so bad. Mm. Mm. I love Vietnamese food and I cannot wait till I go to Vietnam later this year. If it already tastes so good here, I can't imagine what it's going to taste like over there. I'm going to try to finish this and, and it really does require both of my hands so I'll see you in a bit. Well, that was all sorts of spectacular. I heard there's a bakery attached to this place, but I think it's closed already. Yeah, the bakery is closed. Just got back to the hotel, and I have never been hit by a food coma so hard as I am being hit right now. I've got to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. These are literally the smallest flip-flops. Are, are these for Smurfs? I just... Oh my 